Yes, yeah, so it's all over here at the SU Mall. Coach Chris Hilton has officially been unveiled here. So we'll be having a one or two conversation with uh, my colleague journalist here just to see their impression after he has been officially unveiled. So stay tuned and then don't forget to subscribe. Officially, Coach Chris Hilton at the Ghana Football Association are unveiling now. I want to say, about impression after the interview, no one is saying. Oh, I believe Akosfia, the coach, is here to do the job. And as he was talking, you could see he has the vim. He has been with the team for about a year. And I think we know the team already. So, given the mantle, I believe we know the players, we know the terrain, we know Kumasi fans, we know everything. And we know the pressure, even within the team or we within the supporters. As we, uh, he was talking about, uh, Ghana has won about 41 years without winning uh, the AFCON. And it's a major worry for we, some of the uh, up and coming ones, because we have never seen Ghana won any trophy before. So, as he has, he is the man in charge now. We believe he called the right players, he, he put up the right uh, tactics, so that come next year, uh, Ivory Coast, we shall unless or we shall lift the cup. So, I believe, coach, in his speech, he believes he has difficult tax ahead and he thinks he can do the job this year. So, um, Ghana versus Angola on Thursday. What are you expecting? Of course, yeah, we believe we have team. As he was even saying, we have the youngest team in the World Cup. Just ended uh, Qatar 2022. So, I believe with motivation, with supporters, with everything rise in place, I believe we can beat Angola. Even though Angola also have uh, local players, they are mainly of local players with some few additional foreign players, but we shouldn't be slow, slowly headed. We should go in boot for boot and beat them. You know, it's a double header. So, as we, we play them on Thursday at Mabayara, and Mabayara has always been a general gun for every uh, country that he is coming to play with Ghana. So, I believe, come what may, we will carry the day, but to go back to Angola, that's where my worry is because everybody also believes that his or her home. We have the strength over there to I mean to play. But with our quality at our force, I believe at least we can we can beat them here and also go there, at least manage the draw or even beat them over there. Because Angola, as we knew, the, the time that we knew them, we knew them, uh Manichos, the uh Zig uh, Kalangas and what have you, they've all retired. And they have a crop of players who are even uh, playing on the African soil. I believe they are very good bets. With our, our team and with our strong of our, our players playing outside, I believe we can go there and surprise them. So I'm not surprised if we beat them here and go there and beat them or even draw. So your prediction? Oh, at least at Babayara, we shall beat them by two goals to seven. Shane, after listening to him, do you think he can deliver? Of course, I'm impressed, honestly. I mean, uh, um, he, he, has clear, he has clearly shows that he's been in the game for long and he knows what it's about. So I, I'm sure you come good. I wish you well. Okay, so on Thursday, your prediction? Of course, I win for Blasters. Just look at the atmosphere. If the Kumasi media picks you up, obviously Kumasi will be pregnant on Thursday. Oh, for sure. For me, I think he can deliver. Giving him the mad time, time needed, he can deliver. Looking at his CV from where he's coming from, he's been, he's been, uh, he has been a coach for big, big teams in the uh, Premier League. So he's got a lot of, a, a lot of experience. And... Like the FA rightly said from years back, they want him to join the team for some time to know the team. And they went to the World Cup. He's been with the team for a year now. So, so for me, I think uh, he, he can deliver. So Thursday, we are all expecting uh, something different from him. Blasters haven't lost a game since 2000 at the Bavaria Sports Stadium. On Thursday, what are you expecting? You shouldn't forget, in every country, you have your venue. That is a venue of luck, you understand? And when we come to Ghana, it's Baba Yara Sports Stadium. So as tradition goes on, we are expecting the same thing. Either we win or we lose, but, uh, or we draw. But we want to win. We, are, we must beat Angola so that Ghana will have hopes to qualify to the AFCON. Your prediction? Uh, Fraser won't be bad. Well, uh, let me say, I mean, it was um, a beautiful occasion where, I mean, we've seen Chris Hilton taking over as our new Blasters coach. And it's no surprising because he's been around the team for some time. And... I mean, listening to the coach, I think I'm quite impressed about most of the things that he talked about, especially with regards to the local league. And I'm particularly happy about what he said. 
is going to be around watch matches and will help improve the league. And that is something that we've all been looking forward to because no better football nation can exist without a better league. And this is a time where we've always complained about our league. So I'm particularly happy he's going to take interest in our league. And that is what I'm really looking forward to. And he comes across as someone who's so much into the Ghana football and he wants to do the job. He, listening to him, it looks like he's passionate about the job that he's going to do. And that is something that gives me some joy. Because, I mean, if you have a coach who is interested in the job and it's not like we are forcing him to come and do their job. He's not here to cash out the money. He's here to work. And uh, that is one thing that I'm very happy about. Okay, so Coach Chris, Chris Hilton will be having his first game on Thursday. What is your prediction? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing a very good game from him, at least a convincing win to start with. A win that will give a lot of people confidence because I've always argued that this blasters, when it comes to quality, we don't lack quality. It's about the coaching and how we are able to bring the best out of our players. So if he's able to bring the best out of our players, we should be able to account for Angola. Angola shouldn't be a country to stay Ghana, no. Shooting. So Utina, okay, he's, he doesn't want to make promises too early. Um, all in all, no, I think sir, it was a good press conference. When he said over 21 months, and within 21 months, it will be to me, I hit a certain targets, which means that within the contract, your yeah, well, performance review, well, to me, hit those, you know, uh, targets, qualifying for the AFCON, and it means automatically, no, I bet to us, you continue. So I think the main issue was 21 months is not enough, but he addressed it by saying, he said, for him, it works. He'll be able to focus on his work and achieve certain targets by that time. Yeah, 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 man, ben, yeah, man, benefit of the doubt. I think, sir, or your competent coach or experience, he should be able to deliver. I showed there now. There are two things: mm -hmm. communications, uh, PRO. Eka like said the Ministry of Youth and Sports will be taking up care of his salary. Abai, now you need to look at Ghana as a country. And thank you very much. What can he now? So. How, how much are you ready to invest? Mm, 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 mm. If you're looking at paying Nigeria, they are giving their coach um, um, eighty-five thousand dollars a month. Mm. You know, Angola, they are giving their coach about fifty thousand dollars a month. You're looking at plus fifty thousand dollars a month or more. So you need to look at that average. Or you want to go and bring in Zidane, four hundred thousand mm. dollars a month. Do you have that money? Mm -hmm. So as much as we want the best, we also have to cut our coach according to our size. And I, and I think Chris is a top-notch coach. Sure. You know, he's, he's coached at the highest level, national team, club level. He's a former World Cup veteran. You know, he's, he's so... On also no young man or that confidence there, or your top-notch coach, not or the MBEC the next level. Well, Chris, I had the first invitation, first selection, and already... You see signs say uh, on well let's give him the benefit of the doubt again. Or say on one was selected players. No? So let's see what happens against Angola. Changes he will make, his tactics, and then go into the second uh, match in Luanda, what he will do, and then moving forward. It's too early to judge him okay. in terms of that because 90% of the selection hasn't changed. And the players is brought in. I don't think you and I can really say, sir, they are crazy inclusions. Sure. And I said, there are some very strange exclusions. Let's see what happens with Angola. And then we'll take it. I asked squad, Coach Houston, I want to name it out Thursday. Then I will expect it from the team. Excitement, because in the first game, Professor Shah said with a good win, the players would also want to show new coach, sir, for selecting me and keeping faith. I'm going to give my best. So I think, sir, I'm very excited. I'm hoping for a very good game. But Angola, no, I might improve it. So we shouldn't think, sir, a bear walkover, but it will be a very exciting game. So your prediction? Oh, I won't predict, but this is Kumasi. And you know what that means. Definitely a win for the Blasters. We, we believe so. So it's all over here at the SG Mall. Officially, the Blasters of Ghana's head coach has been unveiled and then 
as you heard, we have a little interview with some of our colleagues and their expectation ahead of the Angola game. You can also drop your comments on your expectation ahead of the game. And then, if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget get to click on the subscribe button to subscribe and then click on the notification bell so that anytime we post anything on this channel, you will be privileged to be the first person to watch. My name is Akosia Inesta.